I know, I know, you are making 100K a year, you have a car, you have an apartment, and you think you got everything figured out, right? Let me tell you something, you are wrong. Hey guys, the checks from the Access Corner. Today I want to share a story with you that I hope will inspire you to take action. And you should stay until the end because I will show you a future-proof method to overcome any crisis issue. When he was 24 years old, I had a friend who did super well at the university. And afterwards, he started working for the consultancy firma KPMG, which is one of the big four consultancy firmas in Europe. From the beginning, he was making almost 80K a year because he was working as a business consultant. And in Europe, that's a lot of money. He was working a lot there, but he went to the Cayman Islands for vacations. And guess what happened? The pandemic started. As you might know, some of the countries closed the borders and he couldn't go out of the Cayman Islands. His employer got pretty pissed and with the crisis he lost his job. In the beginning he was doing pretty well because in Germany you have three months of not this period but right before coming back from the islands he got super sick and although he got something from the government the prices in Munich are pretty high and he had to borrow money from his family and friends including me. So he got lucky but imagine what could have happened if he didn't have these friends that could help him. So the first thing that I ask when we talk about that was why don't you have an emergency fund so what exactly is an emergency fund emergency fund as the name say it's a bit of cash that you set aside specifically for events you don't expect and that's all experts recommend having at least three to six months worth of living expenses safe up however as you might know from my previous videos i always say that if you're living in a country like germany where you have another period of three months you just need three months of emergency fund if you're in a country like the us without notice period you need six months and if you are by yourself like self-employees or entrepreneurs you need one year so to know exactly how high your emergency fund should be you have to know how much your expenses are and yeah most of the people don't know actually how much is it to know more about that watch this video here because i already explained that in another video so once you figure out how much do you spend you can proceed to the technique i show you to actually create an emergency Fund. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button. It helps me a lot. The cool thing about an emergency fund is that it's something you used to once and then it stays there until you change your expenses. Meaning the heavy part is in the first time and afterwards you are set and you can adjust every three months or so. When you know what's your goal, you can either decide on how much time you want to build the emergency fund or how much you can contribute every month. For example, let's assume that you need 18k in your emergency fund which is actually a common amount if you want to build that in the next two years that would mean that you need to put apart 750 every month can you do that you gotta remember though that you won't be investing you will be just putting this amount apart however let's make things a little bit more interesting because not everyone has 750 bucks to put aside every month so if 750 is too high for you and you can just put let's say 500 aside assuming you are starting from zero after six months you have three thousand and this is important because i'm assuming you're starting from zero and this is actually not realistic usually you have already some money in the bank that you can take from there but okay let's say that you are starting really from zero after the first year that you have the three thousand you can put those three thousand in your certificate of deposit or cd with a 0 0.60 percent annual percentage deal which is actually pretty low do your research and find a bank that offers this kind of certificates probably your bank do it already probably you can find something else online which is a little bit cheaper and don't be afraid every bank will give you like three thousand bucks if they go bankrupt actually the bank will give you back up to eighty thousand if they go bankrupt you can put that money there and the way you lock your money for one year meaning you can spend the money in something else and that's the thing about the certificate of deposit it is not that much what you get back from there but the thing is that as long as the money is in this certificate you can use it so when you have three thousand bucks there is no way that you can say hey homies let's do some party because the money will be get luck for one year so after the year in that cd you will have three thousand eighteen which is a much more than three thousand but again the key thing here is to block the money so that you don't use it so returning back to putting 500 every month after six months and one year you do the same with this procedure you will have twelve thousand thirty six bucks 
stocks after two years, either euros or dollars, depending where you are. And you do the same. So you still need more money. Now we can come to the beer part. How much does a beer cost in your country? Let's assume that you pay five bucks for the beer and you put aside that money every day. After two years, you have around 3,600 that you can add to your 12,036 bucks that you had previously. And now you will have 15,636 again after two years. So if you do the same for another four months, you have $18,236 in the end. And now you finish. Again, starting from zero, you have an emergency fund of a bit more than 18K in two years and four months. And just for you to know, I always do the beer stuff. After one year, I always have 1,800 euros that I actually use in my vacations. And that's it for today. Remember that building an emergency fund might be super tough in the beginning, but in times like this, this right now you really need it because you don't know what is going to happen to your bank or to your employer next week so those two two and a half even three or four years of commitment is totally worth it i did it back then when i was 24 years old and i didn't have any problems until now but if i had some problems i would know from where to get the money thanks for watching and as i always say never give up and keep trying to be the best version of yourself check out